أقدم لكم ذا لاين مدينة مليونية بطول 170 كيلو Saudi Arabia's 500 billion dollar future mega city. It's an attempt to do something that's never been done before, and it's coming at a time when the world needs fresh thinking and new solutions. Put simply, Neom will not only be a destination, but a home for people who dream big and who want to be part of building a new model for sustainable living. Saudi Arabia is building a futuristic megacity. Saudi Arabia named the future megacity Neom. Today, we're going to talk about Saudi Arabia's $500 billion future Neom city. If you're new to our channel, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Neom is a planned cross-border city in the Tabuk province of northwestern Saudi Arabia. It is planned to incorporate smart city technologies and also function as a tourist destination. The site is north of the Red Sea, east of Egypt across the Strait of Tehran, and south of Israel and Jordan. It will cover a total area of 26,500 kilometers square, 10,200 square miles, and will extend 460 kilometers along the coast of the Red Sea. Inauguration of the project. Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman announced that a new city would be built from scratch in Saudi Arabia's northwest deserts at the Future Investment Initiative Conference in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia on October 24, 2017. <laughs> Mohammed bin Salman is known for his lavish spending. He has bought a $500 million yacht, a $300 million French chateau, and a $450 million Leonardo da Vinci painting according to one estimate of the Saudi royal family, and it's about 15,000 members, of which Mohammed bin Salman is the head of it. It's worth up to $1.4 trillion. He said it will operate independently from the existing governmental framework with its own tax and labor laws and an autonomous judicial system. Egypt announced in 2018 that it is contributing some land to the NEOM project. The initiative emerged from Saudi Vision 2030, a plan that seeks to reduce Saudi Arabia's dependence on oil, diversify its economy, and develop public service sectors. Plans call for robots to perform functions such as security, logistics, home delivery, and caregiving and for the city to be powered solely with wind and solar power. Because the city will be designed and constructed from scratch, other innovations in infrastructure and mobility have been suggested. Neom City would be a place for dreamers, he said, adding the $500 billion city would run by artificial intelligence and be funded by the kingdom's sovereign wealth fund. The first phase of the project is scheduled for completion by 2025. Neom Mega Project Early plans for the city imagine flying taxis, holographic teachers, and an artificial moon and mechanical dinosaurs. But few concrete details emerged until January, when Neom authorities announced the line, a string of settlements connected by a vast subterranean transport system. <laughs> Beating back doubts over funding and feasibility, work is moving ahead, as it is on several of the Crown Prince's other pet projects. Saudi Arabia aims to complete the first section of Neom by 2025. The project has an estimated cost of $500 billion. On January 29, 2019, the aim of this company that is wholly owned by the Public Investment Fund, last month Joseph Bradley, NEOM's head of technology, told ZDNet that he wanted to collect 90% of available data from residents and smart infrastructure. Existing smart cities use about 1% of such data, Bradley added. Without providing specifics, the Sovereign Wealth Fund is to develop the economic zone of NEOM. NEOM's Extraordinary Features The project is planned to be totally powered by renewable energy sources. Al Nasir is the CEO of NEOM Joint Stock Company, and he and his team have made it a primary goal to have NEOM be an example of a clean and renewable city for the future. NEOM states that it will introduce a new model for urban sustainability and be a place that is focused on setting new standards for community health environmental protection and the effective and productive use of technology. It is being designed, constructed, and independently administered in a way that is freed from the outdated economic and environmental infrastructure that constrains other countries. 
The location of this future city makes this aspiration certainly an attainable one. Neom is strategically located on one of the world's most prominent economic intersections. This position on the globe will make Neom a prime location for trade innovation and knowledge. Its proximity to India and Europe, 40% of the world's population, will be able to reach Neom in less than four hours. But Neom's location is not just advantageous because of its place on the map, but also due to its geography. The site of Neom is spectacular. The grounds for this new city is home to diverse terrain, sheltered by mountains and cooled by Red Sea breezes. A temperate Mediterranean climate means that without much rainfall, this city will be considerably cooler than most of the Middle East's blistering temperatures. Neom will also host more than 280 miles of coastline, with beaches and coral reefs as well as mountains with peaks of up to 8,000 feet above sea level. This means that whatever climate-specific activity you want to take part in, Neom will be able to make it happen. Neom describes that this ambitious project is an attempt to do something that's never been done before. And it comes at a time when the world needs fresh thinking and new solutions. The idea that Niyama will be a living laboratory, a place where entrepreneurship and innovation will chart the course for this new future, is what is fueling this pursuit and backing of all the billions of dollars being invested. Neom will include towns and cities, ports and enterprise zones, research centers, sports and entertainment venues, and tourist destinations. Currently, it's estimated that Neom will be home to a little over 1 million residents, and based on the wealth and anticipation of this city, the occupants of Neom will be a diverse group from anywhere in the world. In 2017, Neom hired three of the world's largest consultancy firms, McKinsey & Company, Boston Consulting, and Oliver Wyman to advise. Here's what they came up with. Neom is supposed to draw on cloud seeding technology to make artificial clouds, which will produce more rainfall than naturally possible in the desert. Neom will also have the leading education system on the planet, with classes taught by holographic teachers, and it would also provide an open laboratory for young entrepreneurs. It is geographically rich as it includes mountains, coasts, and deserts. An economic engine for the world as many investments would reach the futuristic city. The state would have its own labor laws and a tax system which would be independent of the current government of Saudi Arabia. The city would consist of bullet trains and hyperloop, but the residents would be encouraged for using bicycles. The Saudi government is already hosting events at the site of Neom to generate investment and media attention. This is all about Saudi Arabia, $500 billion megacity. What do you think of this fascinating plan for Neom? Do you think, like many outrageous ideas, the dream will fade? Or is the country of Saudi Arabia the perfect one to follow through on such a plan? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and turn on post notifications.